What's up everybody, it's TJ from JNT Mic'd Up and I am going to be your special host today. And today we're kicking off season two of JNT Mic'd Up. We had a little break, a little intermission, but it's alright because we're coming right back and we're going to be ready for summer. So kicking off the first episode, we have a few special guests. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Clark Atlanta University, so why not just go right next door to my Morehouse brothers and get them on the show. So today we got the twin hoop stars from Morehouse basketball team. I'm Andrew Stewart. I'm Elijah Stewart. And we got them on the show today, so we're going to learn a little bit about them, and we're just going to chop it up, you know what I'm saying, and we're going to get right underway. So, starting it off, controversy. Who's the better twin? Andrew, I'm the better twin. <laughs> Talking <laughs> to third person. Nah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm 35 minutes older than him, so I'm, I'm, I'm the big brother. All right, all right. No matter how long it is, I'm still big brother. That don't mean anything on the court. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm expecting y'all to say yourself, because I ain't never going to say nobody better than me, even if I'm playing LeBron. Nah, bro. Keep <laughs> <laughs> my 21 on me, but we going to be good. Oh, all right, so where y'all from? Chicago. Southside, South right? Chicago, yeah. All right, so tell me what it's like, you know, growing it up there, some experiences, just the early childhood. What was it like? Uh, it was a good experience where we live at. We kind of get the best of both worlds. So, like, we live in a good neighborhood, but if you kind of go down the street, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. it's a lot of, you expose a lot of things. But I think it's very beneficial. It made us tough at an early age. Um, like I said, we were exposed to a lot of things, good and bad. So it kind of prepared us, and we were kind of forced to grow up at an early age. Mm -hmm. And what was the uh, the competition like early? Were y'all in AAU growing up, or what other sports were y'all in as well? Um, we started out playing soccer when we were little, little and uh, baseball. We were actually better at baseball than basketball, but really, yeah, we used to take summers off of basketball for baseball, but it just that was, got, a little, got a little too boring. <laughs> it, was, that, it was too hot outside, a little too boring. That's really. that's literally crazy. I used to play. I was playing all the sports, right? So, and I was good at baseball. Like I was like all star every year. And I was like, mom, this is boring though. Like, I would rather go play AAU. So I stopped playing baseball during the spring because that's when AAU was starting mm -hmm. up. You know what I'm saying? And I played soccer one year. And, like, we used yeah. to play baseball just to, to shoot the sunflower season to go. <laughs> <laughs> we were good though. But yeah. I mean, we just got, yeah. got so to that point. National athletes. Yeah. All right. So, and junior high, how was junior high? I was good. Um, it was really all growing up, we were all focused on sports. We kind of didn't really. We didn't really branch out to start doing other things until we got to college. Like, kind of coming up, especially when we were younger, everything was just baseball, basketball, practice, come home, same thing over and over again. Yeah, just staying busy. Always. So your mom your mom was keeping you busy, you know, out of the streets and all that. Sure. Yeah, man. Our, dad, our dad coached us based our whole life until we got to college. Oh, yeah. Y'all so, yeah. got a strong support system, so that's, yeah. that's all that matters. All right, so high school. Let's move on to high school. How was that like? Any struggles? Cause I know freshman year, you're not really growing into your body yet. You know, you come uh, and play in different competition. What was that like? Yeah, freshman year was actually it was different uh, for us. Like in terms of basketball, like the pace kind of picked up, like the running, cause we're playing against older kids. You know, eighth grade we were the oldest ones, and now just dominating in middle school. Yeah, so we went to um, a school called Kenwood Academy. Mm -hmm. um, it actually reminds me of Clark. It's like a like a high school version. A lot of, Clark, of kids, huh? a lot of kids from Chicago. Went to really? Kenwood, go to Clark. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it, it was good, um, but we kind of had to adjust early on. But it's beneficial kind of playing against older kids and everything. It helped us a lot. Mm. We were y'all moved up from freshman to JV? Um, or we we played, JV played JV our freshman year, and then we kind of sat and watched on varsity. And actually, one of the kids that – it was four of us that were freshmen that played um, varsity, and one of the kids that played with us actually – just committed to Kentucky today, Antonio Reeves. Oh, okay. So it's kind of good to see the growth of how we started out and how everybody kind of branched out. Even yeah. the, the competition we played, the top high school, Simeon, Morgan Park. So we were playing. Simeon. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. So we were playing those top high schools starting off at a young age, so that helped us. So it was, it was a D1 high school? Yeah, yeah for sure. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Like top five, top five. All right, we, so how is how is y'all senior year? Uh, senior year, we actually transferred. We left um, the school Kenwood and went to a school called Thorn the Fraction of South. It's kind of in, in like the uh, south suburbs of Chicago. Uh -huh. And it was a good experience. It kind of, we had to move. Dude, my dad had a stroke our junior year mm -hmm. of high school, so we kind of, our family was forced to move. But um, we played for a coach named Townsend Orr. He played um, high division one basketball. So it was good. It kind of gave us a chance to really showcase what we had been working on since our freshman year. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, so, you know, working all that hard work, you know what I'm saying, what was the summers like? Was it training non-stop? Oh, training non-stop. We really? Never, like, I don't think we ever, I never took a trip over the summer. Never, like, everything's always working out. So is your dad hard on y'all? 
like a LeVar Ball type dad or like he he, <laughs> he used to be, but then they kind of got to a point, you know, he knows he, the difference between yeah. father, father. Okay. But then when you hear the same voice over and over again, kind of our uncle kind of stepped in, and once my dad had a stroke, my uncle kind of stepped up and kind of took control of everything. But nah, he kind of I'll say he was a LeVar Ball. <laughs> for sure. I mean, it's beneficial though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. It's hard on y'all now. Look where, look where y'all at. You know what I'm saying. For sure. So, with, who is the is your mom's always the biggest cheerleader, or is your oh, dad? Sure. Oh, mom, oh, mom, mom, nah, mom. No mom always. So, like, say y'all have a bad game, right? Who who's gonna be in the car? All y'all? Is it your dad or your mom? Um, I'll say both. It's my dad's kind of. It's kind of understood. Like when we got older, he kind of doesn't have to tell us anymore. Like what we do wrong. Um, we'll kind of talk about it a little bit, but really, really our mom. Man. Yeah, we'll go into detail with our mom. Our yeah. dad is kind of like he. We all know what we should be doing. He kind of like y'all know what y'all need to do. And yeah.